Hello everyone, this is Andrew from Crown Academy of English. This is part two of a series of videos about differences in vocabulary between British English and American English. You will learn 18 differences and the link to part one is in the description and also at the end of this video. So let's start. In British English, we call this a holiday and American English a vacation, vacation. So an example, we can say they are on holiday in Spain and American English, they are on vacation in Spain. So this item of clothing in British English is called a jumper. American English, it's a sweater. Example, she is wearing a pink jumper. And American English, she's wearing a pink sweater. In Amer uh, sorry, in British English, this is a lift. Okay, so this small space is a lift. American English, this is an elevator. Elevator. They're taking the lift to the third floor. In American English, they're taking the elevator to the third floor. This vehicle in British English is a lorry and it's a truck in American English. He is driving a lorry. He is driving a truck. So this subject, okay, this subject here on the blackboard, it's a similar word in both languages, but be very careful. In British English, we call this maths, maths with an S, very important. This has an S at the end. And in American English, they do not have the S. They call it math, okay, without the S. So in British English, we say Mark is very good at maths. And in American English, Claire is very good at math. Okay, so it's a very slight, subtle difference, um, but it is a difference all the same. Okay, so if you see this written somewhere, then it is very likely to be written by an American. Okay. And this item of clothing in British English is a nappy. Nappy. In American English, a diaper. A diaper. So the baby is wearing a nappy. The baby is wearing a diaper. Diaper. And this on the ground where, where they are walking in British English is called a pavement. A pavement. So the pavement is where the pedestrians walk, the people walk. In American English, this is the sidewalk, the sidewalk. They're walking on the pavement. They are walking on the sidewalk. And the name of the fuel, the name of the liquid fuel in British English is called petrol. In American English, they call it gasoline, gasoline. And sometimes they call it an abbreviated form, a short version of this, and they call it simply gas. Now it's a bit confusing because it's they call it gas, but of course it is in fact a liquid. Okay, so it, it is a little bit confusing if you're not used to it. 
So in British English, we say, he is filling the car up with petrol. In American English, he is filling the car up with gas. Okay, with gas. This is the, probably the most common. Saying gas is more common than a gasoline. Okay. Now, this photograph is an object that you only find in Great Britain. And this blue object is only found in America. You can see it here, United States Postal Service. So in British English, this red object is called a post box, a post box. And in American English, this is called a mailbox, a mailbox. So in British English, we say, Mark put the letter in the post box. And we can also form a verb from this. We can form a verb from the noun. And we say, he posted the letter. In American English, Claire put the letter in the mailbox. She mailed the letter. She mailed the letter. Okay? So it's quite a... It's quite a, quite a big difference here. If you're enjoying the video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Okay, let's continue. So this object here in British English is called a rubber. And in American English, they call it an eraser. Eraser. So we use a rubber to correct mistakes. In American English, we use an eraser to correct mistakes. So this is a place where there are lots of shops or stores, as they say in American English. So it's a building in which there are lots of individual shops or stores. In British English, we call this building a shopping centre, a shopping centre. And in American English, it is called a shopping mall, or simply the mall. They have gone to the shopping centre. They have gone to the mall. This tool is called a spanner in British English. In American English, they call it a wrench, a wrench. So the W is silent. So the pronunciation is wrench. Please pass me the spanner. In American English, please pass me the wrench. Okay, so this is the favorite food, I think, of children all over the world. And in British English, we call them sweets, sweets, and it is countable. In British English, it is always countable. In American English, they call this candy, candy. And it can be, it, sometimes it's countable, sometimes it is uncountable. In British English, we can say, sweets are bad for your teeth. Sweets are bad for your teeth. And here we have a plural and a plural. Um, in American English, we would use an uncountable noun here. We consider it to be uncountable. Therefore, this is singular and the verb is also singular. Candy is bad for your teeth. In British English, this is a torch. In American English, it's a flashlight. Example, shine the torch under the bed. In American English, shine the flashlight under the bed. 
this item of clothing, these type of shoes, in British English, we call them trainers. In American English, they call them sneakers. Mark has a new pair of trainers. In American English, Claire has a new pair of sneakers. Okay, and this um, method of transport in British English, this is called a tram. And in American English, it's a very different word. It's called a streetcar, a streetcar. Mark takes the tram to school every day. Okay, in American English, Claire takes the streetcar to school every day. And I think this photograph comes from Lisbon in Portugal. I think so. If you're Portuguese, then tell me in the comments. This item of clothing in British English, we call them trousers or a pair of trousers. In American English, they call them pants, pants. He is wearing a pair of brown trousers. He is wearing a pair of brown pants. Okay. So this part of the car, the glass, the, na the name of this glass here in British English is called the windscreen, the wind screen. And it is called a windshield in American English. It is important that the windscreen is clean. And in American English, it is important that the windshield is clean. Okay, so that's the end of the video. If you haven't already, you can watch part one here. And here is another video which you might be interested in.